Now recently, I have begun to grow a furniture flipping empire. The first thing we got was a warehouse, and then we stocked that warehouse full of furniture to sell. And then when we sold enough furniture, we got a trailer, which was then followed by these big paddle racks and a new forklift. But because I'm addicted to flipping, I have to confess, I flipped the forklift. And today I wanna to show you how much I actually made from flipping the forklift, what I plan to do in the future, what I bought this one for, and why I did it in the first place. Before we can do all that, we have to go back in time one more time to get a last truckload with the old forklift, and then I can tell you what I actually went through to make this happen, because it was a disaster and kind of a crazy story. So with all that said, let's get started. Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot to tell you guys, Mission Side Hustle merch is now a thing. It's only been like three years. And honestly guys, no, no pressure to get anything. I have zero expectations. It's just people have been asking for a long time and I had a lot of fun getting this put together. So check it out if you'd like. I know I will be wearing some. And with all that said, let's start the video. That's perfect, thank you. Huh? I said that's perfect, thank you. All right, so, truck just got here. Uh, I'm gonna unload it real fast. I'm on my own today, so I gotta, you know, try and go a little faster. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Because that's the case, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking. Just gonna start working. Alright, side note, I also borrowed these fork extensions from a neighbor right over there. They asked me if I could help lift a car the other day. It was just a shell, but Lift the car, it's kind of cool. So after I helped them lift the car, I asked them if I could borrow these extensions for this truckload, and they said, yeah. So here they are. on my own a lot of the time, but lately my buddy Chris has been here to help me. But today, he has completely abandoned me. He's in San Francisco. Can we please publicly shame him in the comments and make him feel bad for making me do this alone? You know, I think he deserves it. Shame, Chris, shame on you. Sorry to interrupt, I need to give a quick explanation here, which is that I've been really busy since I unloaded that truck. I haven't had any time to break down any of this stuff yet. But this morning I had somebody who wanted to come by first thing to check out one of these Loretta sets. They're very expensive, like 3,200 I think, like $3,000 or something like that. I post them for two grand, they look really nice. So I just came here, spent about 15 minutes setting it up, getting it ready, spraying it down, cleaning it up, making it look really good. And hopefully, we'll be able to do a sale here in just a few minutes, because it is 9.56, and he said he'll be here at 10. So, we'll see. All right, this guy just might not show up. And yes, there it is. I'm running late, family emergency, should I come another day? I mean, I can't say I'm surprised exactly. This is, this is, it's not common, but this, this kind of stuff happens. I think I'm just gonna give this Christmas tree away for free. I, I was thinking about selling it, but I think, you know, Christmas isn't that far away. And uh, I think I'd rather just give it away. So we'll probably do that in the next couple days. I'm sure it'll go fast. It's a, it's a nice tree. Eh, free is fine. 
All right, so I'm at the warehouse for just a quick minute to hopefully try and wrap up a sale, but this guy is giving me a hard time because this is the third time that he's supposed to come by here. He's ghosted me twice now. He ghosted me on a Sunday and messaged me five minutes before our appointment that he had a family emergency. Okay, I can let it go. Then, number two, he messaged me 20 minutes after the delivery saying that he couldn't get away from work. Mind you, this guy lives an hour away. So today, all bets are off. And usually I'm willing to like give a little discount, take some money off, negotiate a little bit, but today I'm not feeling it. Because if you guys know me at all, if you've watched my channel at all, my biggest pet peeve is people showing up late. And the only thing worse than showing up late is not showing up at all. And he did it twice. We will not be negotiating. We will not be giving discounts. We will be charging full price for delivery. Assume he wants to buy it. And if he doesn't want it, well, it is what it is. Maybe third time's a charm. We'll see if he shows up today. So it's a six piece set. You don't have any light. What's that? Just that one light, yeah. We can move it close to the door if you'd like. Liquidation type items, sometimes it's overstock. Sometimes it's floor models. Sometimes it's a return. Uh, but everything I get is about 95 to 100% uh, condition. I have a Uber that I use sometimes, so I might ask him to see. And then what I'll do is the day of delivery, I'll get it loaded into his truck. And then uh, at that point, just before he delivers down there, I'll say, hey, it's loaded. Would you mind sending me the full amount? And then he'll bring it to you at that point. Does that sound pretty good? Yes. Cool. Don't sell. I'm not going to sell. Yeah. That's a done deal. I feel a little, I, I'm gonna admit, I feel a little bad. I was, I, was, I was pretty upset actually. I was pretty angry that I'd been ghosted twice. He ended up being a really nice guy. It doesn't change the fact that I just don't like people being late or just not showing up to me altogether. I find it to be incredibly rude, uh, even if it's not intended to be that way. So I did stick to my guns. I didn't give him a discount. I'm charging hundred bucks for delivery, $2,100 total. I might deliver it myself, but I'm going to reach out to my delivery guy now that I've used in the past and see if he can deliver it because um, you guys have said it a lot. I'm trying to outsource some of these things that take a lot of my time and it's going to be an hour there, an hour back, and probably 45 minutes in his house. Let's say a three hour job. I'd rather just pay somebody to take care of that. I haven't actually been here in like probably seven to 10 days. It's, it's been a long time since I've been here at the warehouse. Basically, I got these shipments in, did the whole forklift thing, got everything set up, started getting some sales lined up, but then I got, I got pretty sick for like five days or so. And then finally I started feeling better, and then I got World Cup fever, and then I tried playing soccer last night for the first time in like nine months, and today, oh, today I'm feeling it. Not as good as I once was. And with all that said, because I haven't been actively here for a while, things have kind of like, built up and we got a lot going on today. And I'll tell you all about it here in a minute, but first things first, we gotta get this thing ready for pickup because I got a delivery service taking this about an hour away today. We're selling that, we're selling that. Today's gonna be busy. Now before we finish making all the sales on this video, a quick word from today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is my go-to source for all the soundtracking and music that I use on this channel. Now only recently did Epidemic Sound become a sponsor on this channel. I've actually been a user myself for nearly like three years at this point. And probably what I've learned to love most about the platform is the variety in artists and styles and sound effects that you can only find with them. And look, I love making YouTube videos, but I would dare say one of my favorite parts about making the video is picking the right song for the right moment. And trust me when I say, there's no shortage in options. And the selection never gets stale because they constantly are adding new tracks. In fact, they add new tracks every week. I am a huge fan of Epidemic Sound and right now they're offering viewers of my channel 30 day free trial. And the best part is that anything you use during the trial period will still be protected from copyright claims even if you cancel. So don't miss out on your chance to take your videos to the next level and make sure you click that link below. Good to see you again. Thanks for coming by to help me out.
Okay, so that one's a done deal. It does cost me $275, so that really digs into the profit, but I, it saves me a lot of time. So I think I might start doing this quite a bit more often just to kind of give myself a bit more time flexibility with doing things here at the warehouse. And we're left with a total sales of that one, like gross profit of uh, 1,825. So I'll put the unit cost up here so you guys can see what our true profit is on that item, but I love those high-end sales. They always give us quite a bit of money. So let's sell this one next. Okay. And if it's a Messina from Costco, this is gonna match the That's what I ordered. I, they finally went on sale again. Oh, did you? What, did you get a love seat then? Yeah, I got the love seat uh -huh. because you sold yours, and I was like, ah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I used to have, I had about four sets of them. I know, and then, I was so sad. So I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely um, take that off your hands. Okay. And um, let me go pull my trailer. All right, that's a $700 sale, but guys, seriously. Oh my God, I hate to be a complainer. I don't know if I want to put this in there because I'm complaining a lot, but my back hurts so bad. Not a, not a high profit sale, but you know, I'm glad to get the cash out of it, get the space again and uh, be able to move on to the next item. So now we have the most cursed item that I've gotten in a long time. This big Dunhill sectional, I can't sell this thing. It's got cat scratches. It's just, it's not the type of item I'd normally get. Except I usually get stuff that's like pretty new. Oh yeah. Uh, this one's pre-owned, so it has a few scratches and stuff on it, but yeah. that's why I have it priced much lower than I would normally for a lot of my stuff. But it's really good. It's got the recliners, um, the headrests are power headrests too. Okay. So it goes back pretty far. Make me lazy then. <laughs> it might, you know, anything's possible. <laughs> no. Yeah, be, I'd be, I'd be lazy then. <laughs> In, in, the, in the tequila right here. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. These, are, these are dangerous couches, you don't know. Why did you pick a $700 couch? I'll do that. Yeah. Do that? That's fine. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't want to stand between you and the tequila, you know? That would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank Appreciate you. it. Okay. I can give you a hand too, if y'all need some help. Sure, stuff sure, buddy. Yeah. So. yeah. All right, it's time to talk about the forklift. So we bought that Yale forklift from before at an auction for about 9,500 after all the fees. And from what I gathered, it was worth somewhere between 13 and $16,000. And I shared that information with a friend of mine who knows a lot about forklifts. And it just so happens his brother was starting an HVAC company and they needed one that basically fit all the criteria the one I just bought. And I, however, didn't need one that powerful. So I told him a price I'd sell at, which ended up being $14,000 and it, it's really hard to say no to that. So once we flipped that one for 14K, I turned around and bought this one for $3,000. But it's not nearly as nice. I just gotta come out and say it. So it's a 3,000 pound lift. It's older. It's definitely in rougher shape. The brakes, uh, they're kind of there. Mostly not. It also only shows 1,400 hours in the hour tracker, but that's because the hour tracker has stopped rolling. So it kind of sounds like maybe I bought a piece and, and maybe I did. I, I'm, to be honest with you, I didn't really want to sell the last one, but here's my thought process, so hear me out. I'm not sure the opportunity would have came across to sell it for that amount in the future because I check Facebook Marketplace pretty often and there appears to be better lifts at a better price than even what I had sold for previously. My friend just didn't want to shop around they wanted something immediately, so that's why they were able to pay the amount they paid. Me, however, I'm not really in a rush anymore. I have one that works for now. It's not the best, it's okay. But what I flipped the old one for basically paid this one off. And now I have all that cash in my pocket to continue flipping. So my plan now is to flip, build up my cash balance even higher, and then eventually buy a permanent forklift even better than the one we had before for about the price we sold the last one for. And I'm not saying it's the best idea or a good idea or that you should do it if you were in my shoes. It's just, it's just, it's just what I'm doing. And maybe I'll be right and it's a good idea or maybe I'll be wrong and this thing blows up tomorrow. But the good news is, you got nothing to lose. You get to watch either way. <laughs> but I'll be honest, getting this here was a complete nightmare. We had to load it on a flatbed trailer, but this thing's ground clearance was too low to drive up on there. So we had to actually lift it up with another forklift at a totally different complex. It's only a mile down the street, but it was a very stressful day. And then once we got it to my complex, we had to get it off the trailer and get mine on the trailer to finally take it to wherever its final destination was. So they actually had to call a tow truck company to lift it up onto the tow truck and then have it lowered onto the trailer to get it out of here. It was, 
nothing short of a nightmare, but it happened. We now have a new channel net worth of $70,881. So guys, with all that said, I'm gonna head out of here. It's around Christmas time. I'm gonna go spend time with my family today. I hope you guys are doing the same. I love y'all. Being able to do this is truly, it's, it's a dream come true. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So I just wanna take a moment to say thank you as always for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, everything. And we'll see y'all again very soon.